This video will demonstrate how to locate the Genie and NAC IBM Resilient SOAR integration application on the IBM Security App Exchange. We will also briefly describe how the integration functions. To locate the application, just click on IBM Security App Exchange, then click on the IBM XForce Exchange link. Once inside the XForce App Exchange, you'll find applications broken into two different categories. First, there are the IBM and Business Partner applications. These applications have been certified internally by IBM's QA team. Another section includes community provided applications which have not been certified by IBM internally. If we type in Genie and NAC, you'll see an IBM Business Partner application, Genie and NAC Real Time Threat Quarantine for IBM Resilient. Inside of that listing, you'll find a brief description of how the integration functions. You'll also find support information as well as an integration document which you can view. There are several images included as well as a screenshot. At a high level, the way this integration functions is anytime the IBM resilient SOAR system that is monitoring a network environment determines there is a threat on an active node on the network, it will trigger a REST API call to Genie and NAC to tag the node that has been identified as a threat. Once that is received by the Genie and NAC policy server, the Genie and NAC policy server in the cloud will send instructions to the network sensor to quarantine the node. The network sensor will then perform quarantine. This will be done leveraging layer two ARP enforcement and will perform real-time quarantine on the endpoint, which will prevent the endpoint from communicating with any nodes on the network, including nodes on the same segment. No network integration is required. The integration document includes detailed instructions on how to set up the integration itself, flowcharts, product version information, as well as specific instructions on how to configure and set up the integration recommendations for tagging options, and in addition to that, a few screenshots to show you what to anticipate once the integration is set up. Let's take a look and see what the integration looks like inside of the Genie and NAC UI, as well as inside the IBM Resilient UI. Here we can see a node that was previously detected by a Genie and NAC network sensor. This node was originally passively detected and had full network access matching on the default enforcement policy. Subsequent to its detection, Genie and NAC received an API call from IBM Resilient to dynamically tag the node, which results in a layer two quarantine because of an enforcement policy change. What we're going to do is take a look inside of the IBM Resilient UI as well to compare the status of this node on the other side, and then we will repeat the process of tagging the node. Inside of Resilient, under Actions, we'll take a look at the action status, and we can see the previously completed action with a timestamp right there, 214 inside of Resilient. So we'll go back into the Genie and NAC interface. We will remove this node. It will be automatically redetected, but it will no longer have the node tag when it gets redetected. So we refresh and we can see the node is detected and matched on the default policy so it has full network access. So when we go back into Resilient, under the artifact, we can now execute the action 
to block the IP address. Successfully executed. If we go back into actions and we look at the status, we'll see the updated timestamp and that the workflow function was completed. Back inside of Genie and NAC, if we refresh the node status, we now see that the resilient enforcement node tag is present and it's matched on the new enforcement policy. Also, there's corresponding log entries inside of Genie and NAC as well to show that the node tag was dynamically added to the node and that the enforcement policy changed to the new policy, which is isolated by resilient. What this means is the node is layer two isolated as viewed in the previous network diagram. For more information on this integration or any other integration, visit genians.com. Here you can look at the various products offered as well as access resources such as solution overviews, our public facing documentation pages, videos, blogs, you can join our Slack community, get answers to your questions, or find a local partner.